It's right at 90 in Boston. The breeze is out of the west southwest at 14. The dew point is 65. That's pretty uncomfortable, but the southern part of our viewing area is really where it's oppressive, as we will once again show you in a moment. 92 right now in Hartford, 93 in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Now you see the wind is coming from the southwest, so that does have a little bit of an ocean component. So it's low 80s in Hyannis and upper 70s on Nantucket. So I guess you might call that some natural air conditioning. I mean, it's not the driest air, but it certainly is somewhat cooler down there. 92 in Lawrence uh, right now at this time also. Now here are the dew points we're talking about. Remember 70 is about the break point where it becomes oppressive. And look at this from Plymouth to Providence to New London, Connecticut, all the way to Nantucket. It is really oppressive. It may be a whisker less humid tomorrow. Also, I think it will be a little bit less humid on Friday and Saturday as well. So there are some subtle changes coming first. All right. What does it feel like when we combine the heat and humidity? Feels like it's almost 100 degrees where those two points are so high in Providence and in Marshfield. Obviously, a very warm night coming up. Low 70s or so Boston, upper 60s perhaps in some spots. And tomorrow, I think you can tack on a few more to this. Assuming there is no sea breeze, there's an excellent chance Boston will touch 90 degrees tomorrow. You see low 90s for Providence and Taunton, for Nashua and Lawrence, and well up in the 80s, even on Cape Cod. So there is a front that is going to make an approach overnight tomorrow night, first thing on Friday. There may be a band of thunderstorms, but it may be a complex of storms that could pass through or may stay a little bit south or catch the southern part of our area. We'll have to pay closer attention to that tomorrow as we get to see how that works out for tomorrow night. But I don't expect anything during the day tomorrow. And that's the slightly less humid air that comes in for Friday and Saturday. So here you are Thursday morning, lots of sunshine. And then as we get to Thursday evening, we'll start to see the clouds increase. I mean, there's a remote chance of a pop up shower, but I doubt that. However, there you saw a few thunderstorms coming through on this particular one overnight on Thursday night. I want to show you another computer model that keeps the activity skirting closer to Rhode Island, Connecticut, Southeastern Mass and the Cape. So we'll see how that works out, but it seems like the activity in any event would be overnight Thursday night and would be exiting by Friday to allow sunshine to take over with slightly lower humidity. Saturday, we should start out okay, but we're gonna have to keep an eye on late Saturday and especially Sunday. Some moisture from the South could work up this far north. All right, let's check it out over your next seven days. And here you go. Hot stuff tomorrow. I expect a high of around 92 degrees and still close Close to 90 on Friday. Not sure if it'll make it or not, but it'll be close to it. Saturday is a little bit cooler and then some wet weather is likely sometime later th this weekend and or early next week.